Hi, I'm Eliza. I'm the creator of the Not A Horse YouTube channel, and this is my intro video. Okay, well, first things first. Why did I create this channel? I created this channel for you. And one of the things that prompted me to do that was how hard it was for me to find reliable, accurate, truthful, practical, helpful information on mast cell disease. So as a person who suffers with the disease myself, um, I would kind of like for all my efforts in that regard to be put to good use for other people. Okay, so what is mast cell disease? Well first, before we figure out what the disease is, let's figure out what the heck is a mast cell. All right, so mast cells, that's this little guy over here. And they are essentially kind of like that candy that your grandma used to have that was like that white marshmallowy gooey stuff. And then it had like these bubbles with these little jellies in it. I don't know, you guys might be too young for that. But for those of you who are around several decades ago, you know what I'm talking about. All right, well, that's kind of how a mast cell is structured, except here in the center, there aren't really any jellies. It's all this stuff around the outside. And so what he does is he stores up a bunch of different chemicals that have various purposes, useful purposes, practical purposes in your body, things that you know you might need if say some sort of foreign body gets into your system or some sort of foreign chemical that needs to be dealt with. So some of the things that he carries are histamine one, histamine two, leukotrienes, prostaglandins, all of these things are kind of up for grabs as to what might be included in a mast cell. Um, at the same time, there's actually about 200 to 1,000 chemicals that these guys can have on board at any given time. And he looks super happy and jolly here, but if something comes into one of these receptors and just so happens to fit right and everything goes according to plan and he decides, you know what, it's time for me to, to do something, the only thing he does is explode. So that takes us to this side. When he explodes, guess what? He releases all these different things that are in his bubbles out into the surrounding tissues where it can be picked up by the bloodstream and circulated throughout the body in various quantities depending on where he's at and various uh, time frames. So it's important to remember that this guy, he's not super sophisticated. So this is not the sniper of your immune system. This is the crazy man with the shotgun. So I call him the commando. He's part of your innate immunity. This is a really old part of your immune system and he might not be very sophisticated, but he sure packs a punch. And so this is called mast cell activation. When something fits into the right places on his little receptors and makes him explode. So that's what a mast cell does. Now, what's mast cell disease? Well, as you can imagine, you've got these little commandos running around uh, in the various surfaces of your body. So mast cells are going to be found in all the places in your body where, you know, stuff can contact it from the outside world. So I'm talking about things like your skin and your digestive tract and your sinuses, um, you know, those sorts of things where you actually have your body come in contact with the outside world. It's not really warm and fuzzy and you know, like the rest of your system, these are things that are dealing with all kinds of insults from the outside. Pollution, fragrances, different foods you might put in your body that might be threatening. You can kind of see where I'm going with this. So the disease state comes about when your mast cells are misbehaving and or you have too many of them. So there are several kinds of mast cell disease. I won't go into the details right now because this is an intro video, but spoiler alert, you can have disease when you have too many. You can have disease when they misbehave. So it's important that we remember that. So if they go off too often, if there are too many of them, if they're too sensitive, you know, all bad things to have sort of Rambo cells running around in your body. You don't want too many. You don't want them going off too often and you don't want them to be overly sensitive or you're gonna run into a problem. And that in a nutshell is mast cell disease. So before I wrap up this video, I want to tell you a little bit more about myself. Um, I am the wife of a beautiful and kind man named Mark, and the fur mom of a, well, frankly, sorry, the cutest dog in the world, who is named Velcro. 
And yes, I do challenge you to have a cuter dog. If you want to put pictures of your sweet puppies um, in the comment section, feel free. And we can do it out in the comments to see who has the cutest dog. But I'm just telling you ahead of time, I'm going to win. In any case, uh, nice to see you. And I hope you come back to my channel. Thanks. Bye.